All right, all right. What's good, y'all? Soul here, and welcome back to the story mode. So you've seen the title, you've seen the thumbnail, you probably have a general idea of what we're going to be talking about today. However, though, before we get to that, I have a little bit of a favor to ask of you guys. A couple of weeks ago, I asked you guys if you guys would like to do a challenge series for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, specifically a Shinx solo run. A lot of you guys seemed pretty on board with the idea, so I'm more than game to do it. One of the primary reasons that series has not started yet is because I am still awaiting Pokemon Home to make its way to Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Once it is available, I can move all of my Pokemon safely over to Pokemon Home so that I can get a fresh, clean slate, essentially. And then, once that's all said and done, I can safely start the challenge run. Now for anybody that's completely unaware, I did a video a couple of weeks back asking you guys two things. I needed to figure out the rules that I'm going to be abiding by, as well as the style that you guys would like that series to be presented. In that video I just mentioned, I explained the specifics of each presentation style. And as of today, I made a straw poll link so that you guys could vote on which style you would like to watch that series in. The choices are between Let's Play style, Podcast style, and Storytime style. In the description of this video here, I went ahead and put the straw poll link so that you guys could go in and vote for yourselves to see what kind of style you would like this series to be presented. So if you guys could go ahead and just vote for me, that would be super super swell, I'd very much appreciate it, and I will leave that all to you. So now, without further ado, on to the main topic at hand. Soon enough, later this year and early next year, we'll be receiving the DLC for Scarlet and Violet. Currently, we're sitting in an era in which we can at the very least guarantee that we have a solid year or so of development for whatever is planned next, thanks to DLC. Hopefully, whatever is planned next, the team gets the time that they need to truly build and develop it. Just take the time, okay? It's totally fine. We're not going anywhere. But in the meantime, while we await said DLC and whatever comes next, all we can do is sit here and imagine. What could this possible next thing even be? When you truly sit down and think about it for a minute, while we can't exactly pinpoint what we might be getting next, we can definitely rule out what it's not going to be. Generation 10 is definitely not going to be a thing for quite some time to come because they still need to milk this generation for all it's worth. I mean hell, we still got like what, a solid 2-3 to three weeks before Gen 9's anime even starts? So yeah, I think that like 3-4 to four years is a pretty safe bet before we get Generation 10. And of course, the biggest discussion as to what's to come next could potentially be the Gen 5 remakes. And you see, I, I don't know about you guys, but personally it feels odd discussing even that, because even then, it seems way too early. I mean, think about it, we skipped two whole generations and three whole consoles before we got Generation 4 remakes. And I just, I have to believe that they somehow heard or saw at least some of the backlash as to what the Gen 4 remakes were. They definitely have to be careful with Gen 5. I don't know, something just tells me that we're probably not going to see the Gen 5 remakes for a good couple of years, probably another two to three generations. So in that sense, if we're not getting Gen 10, and we're not getting Generation 5 remakes, what else is left? Unless they got some like, some like third and fourth DLC for Scarlet and Violet, which now that I think about it isn't impossible, but no, I have a different theory in mind. Given the current state of the Pokemon games right now, a lot of discussion about Pokemon Let's Go being the best looking games in the series has resurfaced a lot, and honestly, it's kind of a hard argue. Honestly, I think the only thing that bogs those games down is the mechanics. And the fact that we just came back to Kanto again, but you know, we already had that discussion, let's move on now. But fact of the matter is, those games did well. 13 million units? That's really nothing to scoff at. So, with all of that in mind, I can't sit here and ignore the very real possibility that something that was successful, like Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, could very well make its return in the form of Pokemon Let's Go Johto. <laughs> but Soul, what in the world are you talking about? That game is old this time itself! Its time has come and gone! We don't need the likes of Let's Go anymore! Well, hey now, come on, let's take a step back and let me explain myself. You know me. This idea had to stem from somewhere. Now for starters, this is not the first time I've considered this possibility. In the last video, we were talking about the possibility of a different take on how to go about remakes. In the midst of writing that script, it had also occurred to me that Pokemon Let's Go in of itself is a remake. 
it kind of crosses off some of the criteria that I was talking about in that previous video, but that's beside the point. I had gone so long without even thinking about those games' existence that the reality that those are remakes had pretty much slipped past me. There is nothing in the books saying that we can't possibly follow a pattern with those games just as easily as we have been with the new generational games or the newer set of remakes. Once upon a time, a very young, naive little soul story mode made a video regarding Pokemon Let's Go well before it came out talking about the possibility of a reset when it came to the remakes. Naive as he was, he did acknowledge the fact that Pokemon was going to always be catering to their younger audience. The difference though between then and now is how much influence Pokemon Go in of itself has. There are a lot of circumstances in which the hype surrounding Pokemon Go has died down a lot. Six to seven years later, it's very rare to see a group of people in Moss gathering to capture one specific Pokemon for an event. So the long and short of it is, it's very easy to doubt the possibility of Pokemon Go having any influence on the series going down the line here. However though, Young Me did say something very, very interesting that I didn't even consider until now. Essentially, I explained that the first three generations of remakes are now at the point where they in of themselves are inaccessible. Within these last two years, I'm sure we've talked a multitude of times about Pokemon needing to get a better handle on their legacy content. Hence the excitement from everybody and their mamas when Game Boy and Game Boy Advance games were announced for NSO. We thought that everything under the sun from generations 1 to 3 would be available on NSO, only for it to just not even be acknowledged. So, you know, our bad for having hopes, I guess. And now, here we are in the modern day, and as much as it absolutely sucks to say this, I've come to terms with the fact that the only way for us to get legitimate modern versions of Johto and Hoenn is through Pokemon Let's Go. I mean, hell, Pokemon has grown significantly as a franchise since the Heart Gold Soul Silver era. Why wouldn't they utilize ideas and assets that they've already utilized for their newer fan base? With Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl being the most frustrating example of all time, they can utilize older assets and older ideas to make something brand new for newer Pokemon fans that are unfamiliar with it. Also, in terms of Pokemon Let's Go in of itself, we gotta remember, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee were technically the first set of mainline Pokemon games that we ever received on a home console. Those games released very early in the Switch's life cycle, meaning that it's been four years going on five since we've gotten those games. So yeah, I don't think it's all that unrealistic to believe that in between the DLC and whatever comes next next, we could possibly get Pokemon Let's Go Johto. Now, if that in of itself is actually something worth getting excited over, it is a completely different discussion. Like I said earlier, it would definitely be one of the better looking games in the series by far, true enough. But that just means that it would be yet another game that we would have to go through with Let's Go mechanics. Believe me when I say that I fully believe that Johto in that art style would look absolutely beautiful. Don't even get me started on the possibility of that remixed music. It would go so hard. However, the idea of dusting off my Pokeball Plus and spending hours on end just pretending to throw it at my screen to catch Pokemon over and over again is exhausting to say the least. Oh Christ, and I just realized with that sentence that they could easily bring the Pokeball Plus out of retirement and start putting that back on the shelves again. But no, 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 you shouldn't just dust off your old one, you should go out and buy this new one instead because guess what? Now it's gonna have Celebi in there instead of Mew. Oh my goodness. How fun. Yet another way for them to just hop in and rob us blind yet again. Possibly the only redeeming quality with this train of thought is just the possibility of getting two regions again. Not that I'm necessarily excited to traverse Kanto for the sixth time, but you know what? Getting to battle Red again at his finest? Definitely ain't nothing to scoff at. And hey, you know, maybe you could switch it up a little bit this time. Maybe this time around Trace is the 8th gym leader and Blue is the champion champion. Boom, look at that. I just saved you two brand new assets right there. Just reuse those two. I don't even like Trace, but you know what? Do what you gotta do. Why am I explaining it as if I want this game to happen? Anyway, the point is, I'm just saying, it's not impossible for it to be on its way. Obviously, Pokemon Let's Go is far from my favorite Pokemon game, if I didn't make that clear. But you know what? Even I have to admit, it's fun for a first time playthrough. 
Still absolutely frustrating and absolutely exhausting, but at least for one playthrough, I can manage. Well, nine times out of 10, I would vastly prefer a traditional Pokemon game, even if it was the bare bones version of Johto. Eh, at least the shiny hunting and let's go was super easy, so I'll take what I can get. Now, while we could possibly deep dive into specifics and mechanics and stuff like that, I think we could probably save that for another time if that's something you guys even want to talk about. We could totally disregard this conversation and talk about something else if you guys want. But if you guys want to talk more about it, by all means, let me know. But for the time being, I'll probably just sit here and want to shoot myself in the mouth every time I think about it. But hey, that's just me. Yeah, I, I went ahead and dusted off my Pokeball Plus, um, and I'm just going to use this as a mic because I don't know where the other one is. <laughs> so, yeah, go ahead and take that, and uh, yeah, just push the Pokeball in the middle. Yeah, there you go. And uh, you go ahead and tell me what you guys are thinking about the possibility of Let's Go Johto. Do you think that it's a real possibility? Is it even an exciting possibility? Or is it not at all a possibility? It was definitely a one-time thing, and we're most likely never gonna see it again. Go ahead and tell me everything you guys are thinking in the comment section below, because you know for a fact that I am always, always, always down there with you guys. But with that there, yeah, look at that. It does look like it's Skedaddle O'Clock. I'd like to thank you guys ever so much for watching. I truly do hope you enjoyed. Do me the greatest favor of dropping a like and a comment, and consider subscribing for more content like this. And with that, I am Gonzo. Thanks again, hope you enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. Do me the greatest favor of taking good-ass care, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!